The Whiteside County Coroner has released the names of three teenagers killed in a crash Thursday morning just east of Tampico. Coroner Joe McDonald says 16-year-old Douglas Dorothy and 14-year-old Channing Swartfegger and Jaden Hansen died on the scene. Another boy was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Joe McCoy met with the Whiteside County Sheriff this morning and has more on how the rural community is now processing this tragedy. It's our top story tonight at 5. According to the Sheriff's Department, the teenagers in the pickup truck were traveling northbound on Luther Road when they ran this stop sign colliding with a semi truck. Three young lives tragically lost and a tight knit community now in mourning. This is where your point of impact was right here in the middle of the intersection. Right. Whiteside County Sheriff John Booker back at the crash site Friday. You know, this is such a tragedy uh, when young lives are taken like this. The location where three Prophetstown middle and high school students lost their lives. The driver surviving with non-life threatening injuries. These are called yaw marks. It's when the, the vehicle's sliding out of control. Mm. You can see from above the tire tracks mapping out the path the vehicles took after impact. The semi truck sliding roughly 30 yards to the left. The F-150 roughly the same distance to the right. I've been doing this job 33 years and it, it's still very tough. The school district providing counselors and other support staff for the community Friday. With any of our rural areas, we're all family. Jen Kern was one of the social workers on hand. Today we just wanted to kind of provide a safe space for community members to be able to come. We've had um, quite a few therapy dogs that have also kind of come in to kind of help with, with anything to provide that support. A town of 800 people losing three young souls now having to support each other more than ever. In Tampico, Joe McCoy, WQAD News 8. A vigil is being held Sunday night at 6.30 at Tampico City Hall. Sheriff Booker says the Sheriff's Office is also holding a debriefing for all emergency responders next week to help them cope with the tragedy.